Hey guys, uh, been a while without making a video and this time I'm going to show you how to fix uh, damaged rims uh, due to a curb hit or a pothole or what, whatever. So um, there are many videos on YouTube on how to, to do this but anyway I'm going to show you as well. So uh, these are the Spec 1 SPT6 rims and as you can see they stick out quite a bit and uh, just right here I uh, hit a curb like two days ago and that's the damage and beneath it you can see uh, the previous fix I did with a previous uh, curb I hit so um, but why is it uh, silver because um, if uh, I can uh, upload an image I can show you that I had a yellow plastic dip line going around and I decided to remove that because for me it looks better uh, all black is just a decision I took so um, I had to use some thinner to remove that and as you can see the thinner also removed the paint but these were previously fixed so basically this ones just uh, need a small coat or a thin coat of black paint uh, what you will need to do this is basically a various gradation of uh, sandpaper of metal sandpaper uh, these are quite a bit but normally you can just uh, go with three uh, I'm, this is a 60 grade paper uh, 100 and 120 and so on um, you don't have to use all of them but uh, you can go with like for example uh, a 60, a 200, a 300 but for me the most important are the last ones uh, a 600 grade paper and a 360 either, either way because uh, the, smooth, the smoother uh, sandpaper will give you that um, that smooth finish so um, I'm just gonna cut some pieces and show you what you will need and also a bit of water and uh, let's get to it okay guys so <clears throat> basically what you wanna do is just uh, grab a, the, the less grade uh, the smaller grade uh, sandpaper in my case it's the 60 one you wanna wet it it's basically uh, fold it or however it's comfortable for you and just start scraping You will notice that um, the paint will come away, obviously, but yeah, it's starting to smoothen out, and um, well, that's basically with the 60 grade paper. And what I also like to do is just give it a little wipe to remove all that. Uh, particles that are coming out and just uh, continue a little more and then pass to the second uh, grade all right okay so if you can see uh, I already gone with the 60 and let's see if the camera can focus a bit Well, I'm sorry that you're not able to see, but there's like small uh, dents that are still that you can still see. see there, I wish you could see them. Well, anyway, uh, now the next step is just to use the the second higher grade. In this case, the 120. You same. You just wet it a bit and continue. And you get the idea, so you do that until you get to the like 600 grade or 300 grade, and uh, I'll show you how that goes. Okay, so I just uh, finished with all the grades of uh, all the gradients of the sandpaper, and that's uh, well how it looks. I have some light behind me, so. Um, it doesn't look as smooth as I'm looking right now but uh, it is so 
well I'm gonna do all of them all the ones that I have the, the grade the, the marks and then I'll show the final result with some paint okay guys so uh, I was in a hurry so I couldn't grab the, the I couldn't record the part where I painted the rims but basically it's just the enamel uh, high temperature uh, in this case uh, flat black and you just go I, I just sprayed two, two hands of that and this is the result it is like brand new well you, you definitely cannot see the where it was uh, scratched and that's basically it also um, what I did uh, once you got the rim out you can uh, take a take some time and clean the calipers that's what I did with just uh, some uh, a sponge and with soap and water because with a rim it's pretty hard to get there but that's it guys so you get the idea I uh, hope you enjoyed the video peace